welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java project which is entitled as accountable proxy re-encryption for secure data sharing so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about the project so in this project we'll be using the pro accountable proxy re-encryption scheme basically in the proxy re-encryption scheme if a data owner for example consider this Alice is a data owner and Bob is a data consumer so if the data owner want to share the data to the data consumer so the data owner generates a re-encryption key and send it to the proxy so by using this key proxy can transfer the data that is the data owner cipher text into the data consumer without learning anything about the plain text that is sent by the data owner here the authors are proposed the concept of accountable proxy re-encryption that is APRE so here in the accountable proxy re-encryption it identifies whether the proxy is accused to abuse the re-encryption screen using a judge algorithm so here an uh, entity called judge will be identifying whether it is tampered or not that is innocent or not so here you can see the here you can see the collision attack and accountability where you can see the entities data owner allies is the data owner and bob is the data user and here you can see the entity called code whether it judges whether it has been uh, have ma made collision attack or not so it, it is tampered or not now let us see the execution of the project so we have developed this project in java using netbeans 8.2 ide so first we will load the project into the NetBeans IDE. And kindly wait till the background scanning process is completed. And also make sure that you have already attached the database in your MySQL. And also before execution of the project, make sure that to stop your firewall and antivirus because we will be sending the keys through email so this antivirus and firewall will be blocking those process so just stop it temporarily so now I have stopped it temporarily now here the project is now been loaded so let me execute the project by right clicking the project and click run So this is the welcome screen of the project with the project title Accountable Proxy Re-Encryption for Secure Data Sharing and also the abstract that is mentioned in the base paper. Here you can see the entities data owner, delegator which is the data user or the consumer and quote and the cloud. So first we'll go for the data owner part. So as I am a new user I'll be clicking the registration part so data owner registration so here register with the name so let me register the data owner with the name jp infotech 
and the email id jpinfotechprojects at gmail.com with my mobile number address and password and click sign up and now you can see the registration is success and click ok so now let me log into the data owner login part with the registered credentials and click login here you can see the login is success and click ok so this is the welcome screen of the data user sorry the data owner so here you can see the options of upload file my files requested file downloaded file and audit proof so first let me upload a file so let me upload a file So whenever you are selecting the file, you can see the preview file with the encrypted content over it. So let me uh, select this file mobile.txt and enter a keyword called mobile and then click upload. So before uploading the file, so now uh, as we are going to upload the file in the cloud, so as this is a cloud computing project, so we will be storing the file in the cloud in drive hq cloud service provider so this is a free so hosting solution for the cloud files so here we'll be saving the data in the drive hq so let me show you that so first click upload so now you can see the file is uploaded successfully and click ok now in if you can go to my files You can click my files and you can see the file id the file name that is mobile.txt with the mobile file keyword and uploaded date and time and the decryption key if you wanted you can go for the auditing request let me do that later so first we will check the file is uploaded in the cloud or not so let me log into the drive hq so here you can see the mobile.txt you can check the date 28 4 2001 11 am the same date and time here and if you click it here you can see the content has been again encrypted and and so this is made sure that the file is uploaded in the local and also in the cloud part so now coming back to this process so here you can see in the my files uh, the options and the, you, here in the requested files you can see all are empty because currently we have not done any process here so now in my files let me make a uh, request to the auditing process so, so to check the file is modified or not so let me click request so if you go to the requested files you can now you can see it is empty once if there is approved you can see that uh, details over here so let me log out now go to the code part so let me log into the code So after entering the credentials code username and password and click login as access and now you can see the welcome screen of the code here you can see the auditing request so just click auditing request here now you can see the auditing request that is made by us that is the username jp infotech file id the file name the requested date and time the hash code and you can see the status is waiting so still we have not verified it so let me click verify and verify the data just click verify now you can see the auditing verify you can see the hash codes of the original hash code and verified hash code and you can see maximum both are same and if you click verify you can see the hash file matches and the file is safe and un unchanged so here you can see the requested files so, so all are verified now and let me log out so now go to the data owner part so in the data owner part you can see the auditing audit audit proof here you can see 
in my uh, auditing proof of in the my files so here you can see the requested date and time the file id hash code and here also you can verify by clicking verify so you, you can see the hash value is matched and file is safe and unchanged so as the code is also verified the data and after that the data owner will also get the auditing proof of it so now let me log out now go to the delicated part so that is the data consumer data user part as i am a new delegator i'll be clicking with the registration part the delegator registration so let me register with the name jayaprakash and email id the phone number the address and the password and click sign up now the registration is success and click ok now let me log into the delegator login with the credential that we have used it while registration and click login now the login is success and click ok so here you can see the welcome screen of the delegator part with the delegator name and here you can see the option of search file requested file and download file so once if you click search file you can able to search the file so let me search the file that we have uploaded called mobile so click mobile and search so here you can see the there are two files available with the mobile so data owner name uh, with the date downloaded time so for example let me give a request to this data owner click request now you can see the request has been sent so here you can see the requested files so here you can see the requested file status is waiting so only after the data owner uh, authorized this approved this uh, request it can able to download till then it will not be downloaded even if you click download it asks for the decryption key so if you give some bogus key it will not be verified you can so you can see the it has been incorrect key value so you cannot able to download it and in downloaded file you can see it is empty because till now we have not downloaded any file so let me log out and go to the data owner part to give the authorization so now in the requested files you can see the data the, the user that is j prakash has given a requested to the file mobile.txt so if this you if you wanted to approve you can click approve and approve the file request so let me click approve so you can see the file has been approved so let me log out and go to the delegator part So in the delegator part you can go for the requested file and click download so to to get the decryption key you need to go to the email id where the delegator has given so here you can see the mail has been received here so with the file name and what is the redecryption key and just copy that key and you can paste it here and click verify and here you can see the the re-encrypted file content and click if you wanted to download it you can click download so let me save it in the desktop so here you can open and see the content in case if you wanted to update this file so here if the delegator is updating this file you can click update so let me enter some content here and click update so now the original file has been changed so now let me log out and go to the data owner
now i'll go to the my files and uh, give a request again to this audit to the court to check whether the my file is changed or not so let me log out and go to the code part so here in the auditing request you can see the file again which is waiting so first initially here you can see the status was verified which was not tampered or modified now let me verify this by clicking verify now you can see that uh, the hash codes has been changed and you can click verify and you can here see incorrect hash codes the file is modified by others because the delegator has modified that file so here you can check that accountability and click ok and here in the requested files you can check that it has been verified and click log out now the court has sent the data to the data owner so the data owner should check it out so in the data owner part also you can check out the audit proof that is if you click that one you can see there is this incorrect hash value and it has been modified by other so now let me go to the cloud part so this is the welcome screen of the cloud server where we have options of cloud files so what all the files available with the file id with the file name data owner name file keyword uploaded date and time and data owner these all the data owners that are currently available and delegators these are the delegators that are currently available and the final the evaluation graph so graph analysis is made with the average encryption and decryption time so this is not a static graph this is a dynamic graph which varies uh, according to the file that you are going to upload and download so if you wanted to save this chart reports you can also save it as jpeg or png or uh, print it so just let me save it so you can just open and see the saved result so this is the saved result uh, let me log out from the cloud part and this is all about the project accountable proxy re-encryption for secure data sharing and thank you for watching